Hello everyone and welcome to the WordFast Pro 5 demo. My name is Loretta and I will give you a quick tutorial on the program. Here is your welcome screen. Whenever you open the program, this is the first thing that you will see. Here is a file that I have already started to experiment with, but for now we will create a new project. You could also open um, and do several other functions here and as you can see WordFast is very helpful when you hover over a certain function it will give you a quick description as well as the keyboard shortcut but for now like I said we will create a new project WordFast auto populates quite a few things but here we will add the name demo you can save the project anywhere you would like but again WordFast will auto populate this for you as well uh, you get a large amount of options for dialects, especially for the Spanish here. Um, interestingly enough, there's Latin America, Latin America XL, or Modern. Several very interesting options here. English as well. Down here you have three different tabs, Translation Memory, Glossary, which is what WordFast calls the term base, and Blacklist. For now we will focus only on Translation Memory and Glossary. So let's create a new one and we will call this preparedness because we are translating a disaster preparedness guide. We have our source language, target language. Again, WordFast will auto-populate the location, but you can of course browse and save it wherever you would like. You can make this read only, but for our purposes we will not. Click OK. And then once this has been processed, we will click over to the glossary. Again, we will hit create. You can also import. We will also call this preparedness and click OK. It's important to note that WordFest is compatible with Studio. So if I had a file or even a term base from Studio that I wanted to use, I could open that here in WordFest. Over here, you can add other files. For now, we will only add our source text here. And this is enough for our purposes, so I will create the project. My computer is a little older, so it does take a minute sometimes to go through these processes, but I do not believe that is at all the fault of WordFast. And I am on a MacBook right now. It's important to note that WordFast is one of the only programs that will work on a Mac as far as cat tools, but it also works just as well on a PC. So if you have a PC, don't worry, the program will work just as well for you as it will on a Mac. Okay, and here we have our confirmation. The bilingual TXLF files. WordFast automatically creates this file every time you start a new project. So by the end, we will have three files. We will have our source text, we will have our bilingual TXLF file, and we will have our final translation document. Down here, you can see we had our translation memories as well as our glossary. And we will now open the created project. However, if you unclick this, it will still create your project, but it will not open it. So, now we will close my other WordFast project to begin our new one. WordFast is very good about prompting me when I need to do something in order to make my project work better. So, it automatically brings us here. We could also go up here to switch between our project TM and other terminology functions. We can also go into reports and other reference files, but for now we will go into our translation. Again, any delay in opening the files or making big adjustments really should not be held against WordFast as my computer is about 10 years old at this point. However, 
that little bit of lag is really the only difficulty that I have seen so far in using this program. So once we have it here in our editor view, you can see that it is fairly similar to Studio and Memo Q in that it is based off of the Word layout. I find this layout to be incredibly aesthetically pleasing. It has been nice to keep everything organized as WordFast is very careful about which colors it uses. For example, we will start here with our first line, que es un desastre. I will translate what is a disaster. And you see that the color is pink. The next segment key up here is going to be your absolute best friend. What the next segment key does is it commits your current segment to the translation memory and moves on to the next translatable segment. Again, here the hover option really offering you a lot of information. Once we click this or use the keyboard shortcut, you can see that the color has changed from pink to purple. This lets you know that this has been added to the TM. However, if I wanted to begin a translation without adding it to the TM, I could say a disaster is defined as and say that's all I want to do right now for this segment. I will click the unconfirm slash confirm button and you see that these two little dots appear here. This lets me know that my translation segment is in prog progress and has not been committed yet. If I do want to go back and commit this right away, all I have to do is click that same key again and then continue my translation. You can see the dots have disappeared and then I can go on to my next segment. There are several other options here. Uh, adding to the glossary is incredibly easy in WordFast. You simply highlight the term in the source language and the target language that you would like to add. Down here in the bottom right hand corner we will hit our plus sign which will prompt us to add an entry into the glossary. Source, target, description. It doesn't offer a lot of information here, but for my purposes, this is okay because there's nothing too complex and I don't need too many fields in order to define it. So we will hit okay. And as you can see, then that word becomes highlighted. There are options then to highlight every instance of this word throughout the text. Of course, WordFast will prompt you every time this word comes, here we are, disaster again, and in our glossary will prompt us. Unfortunately, the translation memory does not kick in very quickly, so you do need to translate quite a bit before that truly becomes helpful. However, if you have a text with quite a bit of repetition, Absolutely, this will be a great key for you to use, but in my limited experience for the last month or so experimenting with this program, I would say that the glossary is the best part of the terminology management. There are a lot of other features that I would love to go into, but unfortunately we do not have time. So for now, I will simply say that overall WordFast has been very easy to use. I do think that it would be the best option if I were to continue with my MacBook instead of buying a PC, if I am going to purchase a CAT tool for myself. So I will save this translation for now. And just like that, we have our project started and I can come back to this anytime to complete it. Thank you very much.